All right, for this uh, demonstration, we'll be working on uh, Winter 2010, Paper 3. And um, I'll be introducing uh, three new things this time, okay? Um, sum if, average if, as well as how to create a chart. Okay, so for this paper, we're going to start from question number nine. Um, we're going to be working on annex sheet.csv. So I'm going to open this. Well, so remember guys, uh, always, always save as a Excel workbook, all right? Because if you don't, all your functions and your formatting will be gone if you save it as CSV, okay? I'm not going to save it because I already converted it to uh, Excel workbook, okay? So let's look at question number nine. In cell C2, use a function to count the number of trips to the destination where the value in the decode column matches the contents of cell B2. This function must use the correct name ranges. Alright, if you look at a question, what it wants you to do is it wants you to count the number of trips here based on the code here. Basically, it wants you to count how many times the codes here appear in this column, right? So we're going to use the count if function for that. Now, the reason why I'm using the count if function is so that you guys can differentiate uh, count if from sum if and average if. All right, so let's get going. So equals to count if range is this one because you want to count how many times BRA, TUR, INDJM, and all that appears here. Okay, now the reason why it's DC is because I gave a name to the range here. So comma it asks for the criteria, so the criteria will be the code. Use the fill handler, and we're done. Let's look at question number 10. In cell D2, use a function to add the total number of days using the duration column booked for this destination. This function must use the correct name ranges. Now, this question says the total number of days. When you hear total number, it means sub. All right, so let's use the sum if function for this. So equals to sum if. Now the sum if has three arguments: the range, which is the same as what you did with the count if, the criteria, which is also the same, like what you have done with count if, and the sum range. The sum range is basically what you want to add based on the comparison between the range and the criteria. All right, so the range is the same thing here because you want to add the total number of days based on the data here that you will take to compare with the data here, right? So comma, what is the criteria? The criteria is your BRA. So comma, sum range, what is the sum range? The range that you need to add based on the comparison of both of these. Therefore, if it's BRA, what it's going to do is it's going to come here and add 10, 14, 10, 14, and so on. So the sum range is your duration. Use the fill handler to apply. All right. The next question also says, 11, in cell E2, use a formula to calculate the average duration of the holidays booked to this destination. Use the values in cells C2 and D2 to help you. So if the total number of days on this, uh, for this code is 152 and the total number of trips that generate the days here is 13, the average is basically your days divided by your trips. So equals to this divided by this. Done. 